have absolutely no interest in this. It's important, finally, to mention that this is about the vestment of pipes and concrete on one acre or so of ground uh, in rural Taranaki. I'm very pleased that we've reached this point today. I commend this bill to the House and look forward to its passing, given the um, intimations from other parties of support that it will have across the House. Thank you. I call the Honourable Member, Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I rise to speak in this third reading debate on the South Taranaki District Council Cold Creek Rural Water Supply. And I acknowledge my uh, colleague Chester Burrows, and I disagree with him on at least one point, and that is that when he says that he is just the sponsor of this bill, I want to correct the record and say Mr Burrows is more than just a sponsor. He is not uh, some sort of passive... Uh, champion of this cause, he has played an active role both before this bill arrived in this House and ever since. And his role started with going along with his colleague uh, Shane Ardern and uh, Mr Ardern's brother and heavying the uh, South Taranaki District Council into supporting in principle the transfer of the ownership of this water supply system. And if there's one point I'd like to make and be on the record in this third reading debate, Mr Speaker, it is that although Labor will support this bill, let us not overlook that the process that has brought the bill here leaves a lot to be desired. It is not the way a local bill ought to be uh, progressed or ought to be sponsored or supported by a member in this House. And I think it's right and proper. There are people in the local community up there uh, around uh, Obanaki and in the old Egmont uh, uh, County Council who have expressed to me their concern about exactly what has happened here. There is very little to recognise in this bill the respective contributions, the public contribution as well as the private, because this, is being, this scheme is being transferred into private hands. Uh, there was a 50% capital input paid for by the taxpayer, and although Mr Borrow says that there is no record of any cost incurred by the Council that has not been reimbursed by uh, the subscribers to the scheme. The reality is that there, were, there was much support and maintenance work done gratis by the Council because it was easy and convenient to do so, and the Council had the expertise to do it and wanted to support the community, and that was done. And some of that, a lot of that, was engineering advice, so that the, uh, the civil engineers employed by the Council assisted the Cold Creek subscribers in the maintenance of their scheme. Uh, there is still a live issue today uh, in relation to consultation with iwi, and uh, that has not been conducted well, and that will remain an ongoing issue. And I think it's a bit disingenuous to say that the property owners understand it, but there is no meeting of the minds. The truth is that the property owners have seen an opportunity and they've taken it. And the iwi representatives who have tried to engage have, have been uh, met with considerable frustration, if not indeed obstruction, and it will have an impact on their treaty settlements that are forthcoming. Mr Speaker, there is a redeeming aspect to this bill, and, and it is the fact, and it was added in by the Select Committee process, that there will be a referendum, if only confined to those uh, who are serviced by the uh, water scheme at the moment, or properties that are capable of being serviced by it. So there will be some uh, public input into that. But I do want to note that, uh, and, and, and the other redeeming aspect is that there will, has to be consultation with the local public health officer. That is appropriate and fair, and that is right. Uh, but I do note that even though there are assurances that this scheme will be available as an emergency water supply for the people of Opanaki who have relied on the scheme in the past, um, we need to see that that is made good in practice. And so the, all eyes will go on the Cold Creek Supply Scheme subscribers to ensure that uh, they are good to their word, that the people of Opanaki, when their water supply is imperilled, they will not be deprived of the water that, uh, that comes out of the scheme. So, uh, so with those caveats and with those riders, uh, and noting that this has not been a particularly smooth process, not an ideal uh, process, nevertheless, Labor will support this bill. I recognise the Honourable Member, Jackie D.